What's up, YouTube man? It's your boy, Bob Reacts, AKA Showtime Bob, AKA your mom's favorite YouTuber. I love you. Now, in today's video, man, we got none other than top 10 beautiful places to visit in Sweden. Sweden travel video. So, I do plan on taking a trip to Sweden eventually this year. Maybe, I'm not sure, I might be BSing. But, we will be writing this video, man. We're gonna see who, we're gonna see how beautiful Sweden can really get. Besides the gun violence and all of the, the extra stuff that go on in Sweden. This is gonna be a wholesome video, man. So, for it being wholesome, I need y'all to have positive feedback on the video. I will not be writing any, any rapping or anything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be at this video. Let's see, let's see, let's see what the top ten places. Not top ten places to visit. You feel me? Now they say Sweden, the heart of Scandinavia, has an incredibly rich history and beautiful landscapes. Sweden offers acres of unspoiled forests and majestic lake lakes to explore. The air and water are crystal clean. Imagine having crystal clean waters. Now I ain't gonna lie, this pie cap. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Crystal clean waters? I don't know about all that. The roads and public transport transport are excellent, and their citizens are among the friendliest people in the world, or Europe. Y'all must not know. But anyways, as if all that wasn't enough, Sweden boasts an extremely interesting history of full history full of Vikings as well. So watch this Sweden travel video and take a look at the top ten places to visit in Sweden. So. What we're gonna do is get into the video, hit the subscribe button, man. We're gonna see what's on these beautiful places in Sweden, man. If you like videos like this, hit that like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get into the video. All right, hold on. Let me, look. Let me turn this up. 720. Let me turn this up. There we go. 720. Let's get it. I think that's, I think that's, I believe that, that was Stockholm right there, I believe. That big building, I think that's Stockholm. You correct me if I'm wrong. It might be Stockholm. I'm not sure. It might be Stockholm that look like it. Sweden, the heart of Scandinavia. Boy, I thought that was leading Tower of Pizza right there, boy. The way that was shit. I thought that was that's an interesting building that they built. Look how it goes up like that's touch hard. Has an incredibly rich history and beautiful landscapes. Sweden offers acres of unspoiled forests and majestic. Man, I just read this, bro. To explore, I just read this. Vast archipelagos along its coasts. The air and water are crystal clean. The roads and public. I just read this, bro. This is how you know they got this off the internet, bro. They got it off the internet for sure. And the citizens are among the friendliest people in Europe. Now I ain't gonna lie though, friendliest citizens in the in Europe though. I don't know. I don't know. Cause well, I don't. Well, I haven't really been to Sweden though. They always show us the bad parts in the music videos and stuff like that. I haven't been to Sweden, so I really wouldn't know if y'all friendly out there or not. To be honest, I ain't gonna lie. that wasn't enough, Sweden boasts an extremely interesting history full of Vikings as well. So without wasting more time, here are the top ten places to visit in Sweden. Okay. Top ten places to visit Sweden. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see. Let's see what they got on the list. Let's see what they got on the list. Number ten, Malmo. Malmo is a multicultural. Hundred percent sure they're gonna have Stockholm all here. Full of excitement and energy. Situated just over the Orison Bridge, it has long been overshadowed by its more famous neighbor, but it has plenty to offer on its own, including a host of outstanding cultural offerings like the new Moderna Museet Malmo. Sweden's third largest city is fairly small, but it is big on organic fair trade products from fashion to cuisine. On a nice day, it's hard to beat strolling along the promenade indulging in ice cream. Okay. Interesting. It is beautiful though. I ain't gonna lie. It is beautiful. Especially with the brick houses and stuff like that. Number 9. Visby. Visby is Gotland's gateway, as it has been for centuries. On the west coast of Gotland, Y'all got some pretty houses though, I ain't gonna lie. I like your house set up, bruh. With the orange tops and stuff like that and the and the white buildings. I like that setup though. It looks it pretty. It makes, the, it makes the whole area look pretty. I ain't gonna back lie. To the Middle Ages. Then it was a prosperous member of the Hanseatic League, a medieval trading alliance in Northern Europe. But there is more to Visby than just its history. 
The city hosts some of the best restaurants not only in Gotland, but all of Sweden. Mm. Many of them feature the fresh, making me hungry just thinking about that. cuisine for which Gotland is known. Number 8. Uppsala Uppsala, the cultural capital of Sweden, totally deserves to be on your bucket list. Okay. If Why? you wish to experience and explore the cultural and traditional side of Sweden, you must visit Uppsala. Okay. And its old town, the cathedral and castle are considered must-visits. The Uppsala Cathedral has spectacular spires that rise up into the sky against a backdrop of university buildings and the river Fyrus. Number 7. Marstrand. Just an hour's drive from Gothenburg, Marstrand is Sweden's version of Hollywood. Okay. A popular playground for celebs and royalty, it boasts a colorful collection of wooden holiday homes and sailboats of all types. It features a fortress from the 17th century as the biggest attraction for foreign tourists, where you can Oh yeah, that- oh yeah, what is that right there? Imagine living in a house like that. I see that in Call of Duty, bruh. It's like a castle set up or something like that. I seen that in Call of Duty, bro. That's your Viking home. dinner. The tourists also enjoy its proximity to the sea. Look at that grass. Good fish and fresh seafood available at local eateries, and a lot of sea activities to do. Right. Got the church. Shout out the church. Swiss flag on deck. Look at, look at that landscape, bro. Look at that beautiful landscape. Look at the waters, bro. Clear waters, everything, bro. Only got like. Five houses around it, bruh. So no littering or nothing like that, bruh. Look at that. That's that's pretty though, I ain't gonna lie. That's amazing. Look at the waters. I ain't gonna lie though. Clear waters? Clear waters though? I don't know. Number six, Istad. Except Istad, no other city in Sweden can boast such an accurate portrayal of Sweden's bygone days. You'll find its cobblestone streets and sun-dappled squares, lined with many half-timbered houses and other buildings which host shops and restaurants. Along with its fast- Damn, boy, run it, man. That boy, run it for his dang on life, ain't he? Good God, boy. Squares, lined See with my many half-timbered houses and other buildings which host my shops boy. and restaurants. Look at my boy in the corner. Damn. Along with its fascinating history, Istad also has top-class museums and art galleries, along with roughly 25 miles of sandy beaches, and lovely rolling countryside at its doorstep. But out in the Christmas, no, I can, you can tell out in the Christmas time. They got the Christmas tree there, everything. You know, this was near Christmas time. This was probably like 2020, I believe, when COVID hit. That's why probably we don't see that many people like walking around and stuff. You can tell. It's pretty though. I love it. Yes, Todd. Okay. Number five, Holland. Tucked away from all the glamour, this island province is a land of sandy beaches luscious green valley, and Iron Age villages. Sweden got beaches? Will remind you of the Vikings. It seems the time has stopped in this island, seeing the rustic surroundings. But the place has something for everyone, starting off from the serene beaches to rusted windmills and nightclubs to spice up the night. Oh, there you go. There you go. The castle right there. I knew it was going to see a castle eventually, bro. That's a, definitely a castle for sure. I can tell. Look at that. That's just hard. Number four, Stockholm Archipelago. The Stockholm Archipelago is one of the most remarkable regions of Sweden, yet it's still a well-kept secret. Mm. It's made up of over 30,000 islands, of which only about 1,000 are inhabited, and offers a unique escape in both summer and winter. It's accessible from central Stockholm via historic white boats, some of which date back over a century, and are still steam-powered and very well-preserved. Now imagine what's actually in these forests and stuff like that, bro. And these little islands and stuff, bro. I know they got, like, villages. This is why I'm telling you, bro. There's probably so much other stuff that we don't know about it, like, like the entire world type, especially the Pacific Ocean, bro, because it's so dangerous and stuff like that. They probably got so much, like, Wildlife and stuff out there, bro. You wouldn't even believe it. I know Stockholm number one still, though. I bet ten dollars is number one. Ten dollars number one, though. Stockholm. 
Number three, Gothenburg. Okay, Gothenburg. Sweden's second largest city. Gothenburg offers a nice alternative to the glamour and glitz of Stockholm. It's less expensive and less pretentious, as well as being easy. less expensive, and it's the largest city in like in all of Sweden. Around. That's tough. Its streets are lined with all sorts of things to do all year round, and you'll notice its flair for architecture can be found throughout, including the many scenic parks and gardens. There's also the city archipelago right on Gothenburg's doorstep, and it's easily reachable via a half-hour tram ride. No, this man reading off of some talking about some chain ride. Can't even say train ride. Can't even say the train. Dang. Castle, another castle. What's number two? What's number two? We want to see number two. What's number two? It's probably somewhere I know. It's probably like a long ass word. I already know. Number two, Kiruna. Told the you. excellent geographical location. Word. And the beautiful sightings of the Swedish Lapland make Kiruna a fascinating place to discover. Mm -hmm. Travelers here can witness large herds of reindeers. Tell y'all, stop going over. Also, explore the remote and stunning wilderness filled with countless lakes. There is practically an endless list of opportunities for excursions, what the hell? including becoming a musher for the day, embarking on a moose safari, ski and snowmobile tours, oh, ice yeah, climbing, and much more. That's a dub. I might go skiing. I don't know. Who knows? Great landscape though. Look at it. Look at that angle. Oh my gosh. That's hard. Number one, Stockholm. Told you. I need my money. Stockholm is celebrated not only as the capital of Scandinavia but also as one of the world's most beautiful cities. Embedded with 10 centuries of history and culture, Look at it, it stands Good on 14 God. islands. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's hard. The lake meets the sea. The Swedish royal capital is also widely known for its remarkable modernity, progressiveness, and trend sensitivity. That's crazy. It encompasses everything from lifestyle to fashion, design, great food, and usage of new technology. The combination of magnificent scenery, rich history. Look at that nigga drive. Look at that nigga damn speeding his life away. Innovative spirit gives Stockholm an exceptional character and job. Yeah, he burning insane. The rest he said. Like I said, Stockholm on the more. I already knew. I already knew it was Stockholm the more. I already knew. But that's it for the video. Hit the subscribe button, man. Turn on post notification more videos, man. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. Appreciate y'all for taking out the time out y'all day to watch my videos, man. It's really appreciated for sure, man. Really appreciate it. But thank y'all, man, for watching the videos, man. Y'all keep that subscribe button for your boy, man. I need another haircut, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. I might just dag on. I don't know. I'm going to let this junk grow out, though. You feel me? But appreciate y'all watching the video, man. Your boy, baby, is gone, man. Yeah. yeah.